Well, this is Kent, and welcome to the mess of the lab. I'll just grab my webcam and let's have a little look at this uh, fake um, MPPT controller. Here it says MPPT30, and it is not. So, uh, we have a battery here that it says is about 13.6 volts at the moment. That's the top number in the middle there, and there's a set point that it should charge to 14.1 volts. That's just an arbitrary setting that I have uh, made here. We have a load on it. It is an authentic, genuine Ranger 29 uh, lamp that is somewhat turned into powder if you touch it in the wrong place. So it's been removed from the boat and uh, and replaced. Notice the, the fake teak along the edge here. Nice touch. But uh, we can turn that on. We have a load here of 1.6 amps at 13 volts, so we're talking something like uh, uh, 19, 19 watts uh, just in head calculations. And uh, it'll use some, some power from the battery here. Of course nothing is charging and we've got uh, over here a pretend solar cell that has uh, 17 volts and a maximum of 5 amps uh, out and uh, solar cells have an inner resistance which we will simulate with a little light bulb here and then we can also see when it actually starts charging so just for the fun we will turn on the solar cell and it draws 20 milliamps at the moment but it's not drawing anything it's thinking about it and at some point it'll be turning it on and what's happening here across this bulb it will tell us something about the current and all we have here is a curve form that says uh, that uh, there's a drop of about 2 volts across the light bulb. Oh, that's 5 volts, excuse me. And uh, the controller simply connects to the battery um, for about 100 milliseconds and then it turns off for about 5 to 7 milliseconds, measures the voltage of the battery, displays it here 12.6 volts and then it turns it back on again and that results some uh, current to go into the, the battery. It says 0 amps net and uh, 17 volts and uh, 0.8 uh, that's about 14 watts. So 14 watts in and we got 18 watts out at a net of 0. Yes, if that was a, an MMPT I should say MPPT because that's correct. I just always get it wrong. Um, controller if it was an MPPT controller that would be an absolutely acceptable thing to see now I don't really believe in it though so the battery is now dropping in voltage is at 12.6 and we will turn the load off it says zero now so the solar cell there's an arrow out and an arrow down to the battery it is charging and it's 13.0 volts and we get exactly the same pattern here and uh, it just connects to the battery and disconnects from the battery and there is no attempt whatsoever to convert those voltages. So we will turn up the solar cell a little bit from 18 to 30 volts and we've got a lot more light. The pattern is the same. We can see that it's turning off for 5 milliseconds measuring the voltage and then it's turning on again and it's charging at whatever it will get out of connecting the solar cell directly to the battery for 95% of the time and the remaining 5% of the time it just throws the energy away and uh, the battery voltage is now coming up here 13.5 and 14.1 uh, is our set point and that is where we would expect it to maybe go into a uh, uh, f uh, float charge or something like that at lower voltage it certainly shouldn't go to now it's thinking that battery is 99% it's blinking it nicely and it of course measures that during that period and it has the number up there 13.8 and uh, it says that it's charging at 1.2 amps which is hmm, precisely what we've got here it is the full 30 volts that is actually connected to the battery. So, uh, not too impressed with that. And certainly not MPPT. Now we'll see that it's reaching 14.1 volts and we're getting some additional blinking here. And what that looks like on this is that it measures twice, right after each other sometimes. And now it's turning off. 
in that 100 milliseconds or 95 milliseconds where usually it connects the solar cell to the battery it is now because we are reaching the top dot voltage it is now turning off the light bulb you can see that it's blinking over there in those periods and now we'll begin to capture it here and uh, that just means that if it sees the battery over that voltage or at that voltage it'll take a cycle of 95 milliseconds where it does not connect the solar cell to the battery and if it next time measures that it is under that voltage it will connect it again and of course this will keep the battery at exactly the voltage that is set on the left middle number there 14.1 if I select that number and turn it a little bit down to 13.9 we will notice that it is largely off and uh, I can select it one more time and take it further down to 13.3 volts and it will not connect the solar cell at all. We can try and turn the load on. <coughs> we are now using 1.5 amps of the battery and it starts putting some power back onto it at about the same rate. And these are on here. This is nothing but a switch. It is not MPPT. It is not even pulse width modulation. It is quite simply a decision every 100 milliseconds to whether to connect the solar cell and the battery. No more, no less. And that's not what the ad said. Over and out.